Hi, John Park here. I have gotten some questions about slicing on the 1010 black box and how you can feed a WAV file with a whole bunch of samples in it into the black box and then be able to play back those samples on a MIDI controller uh, so each slice can be assigned uh, to a note and uh, that allows you to have like hundreds of samples available. Uh, because each pad on the 1010 can have uh, its own sample, uh, which is sliced up. And I think those slices, there can be like 128 of them or maybe more. I'm not sure. Uh, so let's take a look at how that workflow works. So first of all, uh, I've got, let me go to a new um, pad here. And I'm going to load in a wave file that I prepared. It's this one called vox slice.wave. And if I load that up, what you're going to see is it comes in. Let's go to like sample mode, let's say. It comes in and it has a whole bunch of these files back to back. Let's let's play it. Business, computer, currency, economy, industry, machine, money, numbers, technology. Okay, so you can see I've got um, a bunch of vocal samples that actually came on the SD card with the black box and I've just lined them up one after another. Uh, I did that in Adobe Audition but you can use pretty much any DAW uh, to put all those WAV files in succession. Um, when I exported, I exported that WAV file with the um, markers in it, and they actually come in uh, right into the black box. So you'll see there's these uh, purple flags. These are the slice markers, and it set those uh, right before every single one of those individual uh, clips or samples except for the first one because I don't think I have one there so I'm gonna add one there so you can see I'm in slicer mode on the black box and I'm just gonna hit split and so that just placed a marker there so now if I hit play business, business, it's just playing that business, first business. Um, of the samples so here's what we can do to adjust the behavior if I hit info so here I am back on pads this is the one I've just loaded here. So if I hit info, here's my sliced up sample. Um, and then when I go into the next page, we can look at, at the options here. Uh, under main, I think I'll just leave this at trigger. So that will trigger that uh, slice anytime you hit play. It'll play through the whole uh, slice. And under the envelope, ADSR, I'm actually going to take the release down to zero. Um, so it just ends as, as it was recorded. Uh, under miscellaneous, um, I'm going to leave the loop mode to off. Um, slice, which slice you're playing back, uh, I think this might adjust this. Computer. Yeah, so you could go through and kind of audition Currency. different slices Economy. here. So as I go through, uh, I think I have 12 of them. <laughs> Thirteen of them. Okay, you'll notice also if you go beyond that, uh, it'll just play the last slice. So that um, is interesting, but it's, it's nothing that we're going to use here. Uh, same with this slice sequencing. You can right now it's um, not sequencing those slices, so it'll just play whichever one you have picked. So let's go pick number five here. Industry, industry. So every time I, I industry play, it just plays that slice number five. You can see it if you go back. Industry. You can see there it says slice five. Industry. It's playing the fifth of these, um, if you count the flags. So going back uh, now to just look at what slice sequence sequencing is under none. Industry. It just plays that slice. If we instead say forward, every time I trigger the slice, it's going to play the next one. Business, computer, currency, economy, industry, machine, money. So it's running through every slice there. Uh, you can also run that backwards, random, and stagger them. But 
we don't need that because we're going to trigger these with MIDI. Um, and then if we go over to MIDI here, uh, I'm going to say the MIDI in channel is channel one. Um, and then if we look at, uh, I guess we can watch the waveforms here. Now I've got uh, a few different, a couple different keyboards plugged in over MIDI. Um, a moment just to talk about how I have those plugged in. I have this Yamaha DX uh, Reface, uh, and I'm using the DIN 5 um, out, which is then going over to this uh, RetroKit's RK004, um, which is acting as um, a, uh, what's the word, a MIDI merger. So I have uh, that coming in, and I also have this beat step over here going over its uh, DIN 5 MIDI to another channel, and then uh, finally one of one of those is going out to the MIDI in on the black box. You don't need that, uh, but there was a question I'd gotten about, can you have multiple keyboards that are all merged in, and or multiple con controllers, and yes you can. Uh, so if I look right now, it's gonna play, uh, let's see, it should start on this C. I've adjusted uh, with the octave controller just so you can see it on here, but so that's gonna play Business. Sample or slice one. Computer. Slice two. Currency. Economy. Industry. Machine. Money. Numbers. Technology. Okay, so we can run through them all that way. Um, one thing that's going on actually is that I'm actually playing back a few of those simultaneously. If we go to pads, um, I had loaded these up previously just kind of in testing stuff out. Business. Business. And uh, the reason those are doing different things is kind of interesting. I can trigger multiple pads from the same MIDI channel if I want to. So those are all set up right now to, to trigger with channel one. If I um, go in to this first one and turn off MIDI, we'll go to the second one, leave it on. And third one, I'll turn off uh, that MIDI or set it to, to MIDI in none. Uh, if we go back to this uh, second one, so that's the this, this second one here. If I look under info, um, under the main uh, page here, I have a few things going on. I've set it to polyphonic mode, and I've also set uh, a filter, so let's zero that out. And I've also pitched it up. Uh, I guess I dropped the, the level for some reason too. So check this out. Um, business, business. You'll notice that that's business. higher pitched. Business. So you can pitch uh, sort of uniformly that whole pad full of um, slices and the polyphonic mode it means you're going to play two slices at once. So, so for what it's worth that's not really polyphonic uh, playback of like one sample like some people might want. Um, but it's kind of interesting. It's there. Um, you can turn that off here if you don't want to use it. So now you'll only trigger one at a time. Uh, with the pitch thing, though, this is kind of cool. If I set this, um, something that I thought sounded good was three and a half semitones for whatever reason. I'm going to go back to um, the first pad. Or how about this new one that we just made? Industry. So go to this one. And under MIDI, I'll turn on channel one again. What you'll notice, what you'll notice is when I play, I'm going to be playing back um, the default sort of sample as it was sampled, as well as the pitched up one. So I'm getting a three and a half semitone uh, polyphony essentially because I'm triggering uh, both of those pads at once. So if I turn that off and on. You get those. And so you could layer up a whole bunch of those if that's uh, something you're interested in. You'd be pressing just one note on the keyboard, but you'd be playing back a sort of a chord uh, of those slices. Um, let's see, anything else? So, so just to show that I've got it going on here, I've got this beat step playing back as well as the controller. So you could control the um, black box from multiple merged MIDI controllers. Um, you could also do 
fancy things like have one of these set to channel two on MIDI, one of them set to channel one, uh, and then you could do separate things. Actually, why don't we show that? So uh, this is the, the one I just brought in. I'll set that to channel two, and then I'm gonna change my uh, Yamaha Reface to output on channel two. So my beat step is outputting over channel one, and this is over channel two. So you can do both at the same time, uh, and you're gonna be triggering, uh, if we watch over on the pad screen, Anything I do on the beat step is triggering this uh, second cell here. Anything I do on the reface is the, that third cell. So, um, so sorry, that isn't the most musical example, uh, but hopefully that will um, shed some light on how the slices work. Um, and if anyone can come up with a way to do what the original request was, which is polyphony, so being able to play uh, one slice with multiple keys in different pitches, um, I'd love to hear about it. The closest I've found is to have the same set of slices in multiple cells and then use the pitching and then you're going to get a fixed chord uh, whenever you play that, that uh, sample out. So I'll, uh, I'll play us out with something weird, whatever the sequencer is playing right now. <laughs> there we go. Numbers, industry, currency, business, industry, currency, economy, business, technology. <laughs> All right, hope that helps, and uh, I'll see you next time around. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about uh, stuff you can do with your black box.